Hi guys, welcome back to CID. Today I came with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how can you make a simple Zender app with using Python. Here I'm using socket for sending the files and for GUI I'm using here Kiwi. Okay, you can make throw Tiginter, PyQtify, PySide 2 or any type of GUI apps making modules and for Android Kiwi is the best so I have just tried to make a simple GUI with two buttons in your GUI app send and receive and suppose here it is another Android app and here it is also send and receive and it is not made fully GUI because I have not used here file chooser you can add here file chooser after send button it will open the file chooser and then you will select the files and then you can send the files directly but i gonna show you just only the back end of the app and you can make your front end by any of the platforms and in any of the designs by your own i know guys you can make it very easily and very attractive if you will have any doubts or problems on making the GUI then you can contact me for the fully GUI app of this app I'm just gonna show you that uh, let me select receive on one of the app and send on another then it will show on re receive that it is going out waiting for a connection and it has got the connection from let me enlarge this 127.0.0.1 it is the address of local host of our computer okay and when you are working on android phone then you will have to pass that thing in your code that will be the local host of your android phone you can go through our previous video in which we have told you that what are the process of file sharing app and the basic methods of socket with which I have made a simple tutorial okay so you can go through this video and you will have the idea basic ideas about the methods of socket okay so now let me come again here and now in your sender it is showing out that enter hash tab so you will have to pass any type of strings here suppose i am just passing here hi okay and now it is showing out that enter files to send and now suppose in my folder it has receive and send dot png file and some py files okay and you can see that here it is the download folder let me enlarge it and now you will see that it has download folder if it will be deleted let me delete it okay and also let me come out from server and it has no download folder okay so it will create the download folder firstly and then it will show you the file in that folder okay so now let me suppose i have to pass here send.png file okay and now let me pass another thing suppose i want to pass method.py file as you can see it is in my current folder and now suppose you have another files in another directory then you can pass that file suppose i want to send this song so it is in f drive music and its name is chale underscore ana dot mp3 okay so i will just come here and here i will type f drive okay it is the directory and under this it is the file chale underscore ana dot mp3 okay so it will be the mp3 file and it will be sent also okay now let me hit enter then you will see that it is showing out that send.png is sent methods.png uh, 
sorry methods dot py is sent and now as you can see it is also showing out that app drive music chale ana dot mp3 is 6.95 mb it is also sent now let me check the directory okay so i will come in my directory here and let me come under this and you will see that it has download folder and it will show that this mp3 file methods.py file and send.png file all these three are cam okay so it is also listening and when you will close this file and you will run again uh, let me run again it's methods dot uh, sorry gui app then it will listen again okay so it is listening where until you will close this okay so you can do like this for your app and you can make it gui with using file chooser and then this file chooser will select the files you want to send and you will not have to pass the names of those in console i have to just show you the back end of the code so i am showing you that how can you do that okay so let me close this and let me come on the code and here as you can see that i have buffer.py file gui app file and methods.py file it is the same on client side buffer gui app method okay all the codes are same okay and now let me come again here in methods.py file and you can understand it clearly when you have watched this video okay in this video i have shown you what are the steps and what are these things okay here host is the ip address of your device and port can be anything or uh, after 80 and now here it is connection by default it is false and now connection is being with socket s and c is the connection okay now i'm using buffer.py file here for sending multiple files very easily okay as you can see uh, let me open my buffers.py file here okay and it is the buffers.py file you don't have to worry what are these things you just can copy this in your code and you can use this code was on stack overflow by someone i don't know the name of that person but i am very thankful for the code and i have made some changes in that code and made it easy to use and easy to understand so it is buffers.py file and it is calling buffer class and now it is the hash tag and it will ask you for hash tag and it will ask for files okay and you will have to split the files with space okay because you are sending multiple files and now in for loop it is selecting the files and now it will call the buffers put utf8 method and it will be for hash tag and also for all the files and now it will select the file size with calling os module and with calling the method of os module get size and it will get the size in this variable okay and now it is printing the size of that in decimal value up to 0.2 and now it will call the put utf for the file size also and now will open the file name and will send the bytes with using put bytes method with reading the file and after last uh, it will show you 
that file send and all these codes are under a method called send okay and here it is the receive method and by default it is empty string for host and port is the same and now we'll try to make the directory download when you it is not existed and if it is existed then it will handle by accept block file exist error and will just pass and now calling socket dot socket and binding with that host and port and it will listen up to 10 connection and it will show you that waiting for a connection and it will run for infinity loop and it will get the connection and address from s dot accept method and it will show you the address of that connection and will again call buffer dot popper and pass our connection here and under another loop will get our utf add connection for hash type and if hash tag is not passed then it will just break and now i'm using here for printing the hash tag that what is the text passed here and now file size will be also put by get utf add and file name and now it will check that if file name or file size are zero then it will show you that file is wrong or connection is closed there may be some problem that you have not passed any file name then it will show these things okay so it will be the file name and i'm just getting the file suppose you are passing the whole address of that file which is in another directory then we'll uh, split that from forward slash and we'll get the last thing that will be the file our actual file and it will be saved as file name okay so here it is the actual file name of that file and now we'll get the file name on this location downloads slash and file name okay so here it is the file name and now it will print the file name here and will print the file size with dividing by 1024 into 1024 that means it is in bytes so i am changing it to mb megabyte and now with opening our file name with binary mode with writing and now it will select the file size and it will just show you that how many chunks are left with these codes and now if it will be remaining after sending all the files then there may be some corrupted file and it will show that file is incomplete and missing how many types of uh, how many mb or bytes are left and if it is nothing then it will show you that file is received successfully and after that we'll close the connection okay so we have here two methods send and receive so we'll call here if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equals main that means when you will run this method then it will ask for your input that what do you want to send let me run this and you will see that it will ask that what do you want send or receive if you want to receive then you will hit to and it will show you that waiting for connection okay so here it is and if you are running with another files suppose i have here gui file uh here it is the method for uh, it is the file for our gui app with using kiwi so i have just made a simple gui with making a button here send button and it has the text as send and also another is receive button and it has the text receive okay and i am binding the send and receives i as you can see that i am calling from methods file send and receive method okay and i am binding these send method with 
send files self dot send files as you can see here i have self dot send files and it is calling our send method okay and here is send receive files and it is calling the receive method okay and we'll pass the arguments here star args okay so it will call our send files and receive files okay <clears throat> and now come in receive button and as you can see that i have passed here self dot receive file and under the layout we have added send button and receive button and under vertical layout we have added our horizontal layout and we have returned the vertical layout for the window you can make it very attractive when you have the ideas about kiwi i have not much idea about kiwi so i have just made the simple layout with two buttons and shown you how can you do that okay so i will send you the whole code uh, just message me that if you want this code okay and i will provide all the codes here okay so guys i hope you have liked this video and you have liked and you are new to our channel then you can hit on subscribe button and press the bell icon for new updates thanks for watching